Hey everybody, so I have the Arkimoto FUV. It was actually on loan from the company for the event, the Electric Vehicle Fall Festival that was yesterday. Of course, it's Monday, it's the day after. I haven't returned it yet, so I'm experiencing what it's like to really ride this in the heat of summer, if you will. It is uh, 90 degrees, and as you can tell, it's very sunny. And comparing this experience of riding this around to when I had it in February when it was cold and a little bit rainy as well it, what a, a night and day absolute light and day of course I'm in a t-shirt shorts you know some flip-flops I'm not even wearing full shoes I got the hat on because the sun is shining very brightly so it's coming down through the plexiglass roof and I needed to to make sure that I had some some protection for my eyes so I could not have a glare and see. And it's just more comfortable that way. But what what a night and day experience between cold weather driving or even in like 60 degree, 70 degree weather to a 90 degree day. This is perfect. Um, the only exception maybe would be that my back is sweating a little bit. These seats aren't uh, a very breathable. So, you know, if you're sitting back against them, then yeah, you know, there's no room for, uh, you know, breathing, you know, so I am getting a little sweaty, but I don't care. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm having a fun time. I mean, this is, I, I keep saying this, it's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite electric vehicles, because of how fun this is to drive. Uh, there are a few things that I would change that, that perhaps I would say I don't like about the FUV. Um, there are some things that I like about it, of course, and that's typically what I've always focused on when I'm doing any kind of uh, videos and sharing information is really sharing what I like. So what I'm going to do actually is put together the five things that I don't like and pair it with my five favorite things about the Arkimoto FUV. And I'll put together a little video so you guys can have a better understanding of uh, maybe some of the things that the company could improve upon. Because nobody is perfect, no company is perfect, and certainly no vehicle is perfect. The Arkimoto is not an exception to that. So, uh, yeah. You know, keep keep an eye out. I'll probably have that out. Uh, all right, I don't want to make any promises. Maybe later this week, maybe next week. I don't know. I have so much to work on that I haven't actually produced yet. I've got a lot of video footage, not just on the Arkimoto, but on a lot of other vehicles as well. And I just haven't had the time to do it because of all the planning for the event. Well, the event's over now. So I've got some time I can actually... Uh, sit down at the computer and put together some of this content that I know you guys are just itching for. You're waiting around just for me to put it together. Uh, no, I'm joking, of course. You have much better things to worry about. Um, but yeah, so take, I guess the message for all this is stay tuned. And uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and reactions to my top five and I guess bottom five things about the Arkimoto FUV.